Welcome. This is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your three card tarot reading for your creativity and your creative work. For today, Wednesday, August 1st. It's a full moon. I hope you're paying attention to your dreams. Okay, your focus for today is the Ten of Cups. Cups, you remember, has to do with the element of water, with heart, feelings, dreams, uh, intuitions, emotions, illusions, um, and an aspect of your creativity, that heartfelt aspect. So um, you can see the cat and the dog lying together here, the sign of Mars and Pisces hanging over the fire. Um, this is the idea of real peace and contentment. So your focus today is on what brings you peace and contentment. And do you, do you allow yourself to enjoy those moments that have that potential? Um, it's a way of refilling the creative well. Your action card for today is the King of Swords. Swords is the element of air. It's mind, thoughts, attitudes, belief, and communication. And the king, of course, is the one who is the CEO of the realm. He has the big picture. He manages resources and directs them. Um, he knows what has to be done in order to achieve the goals. So your action for today is to be the CEO of your um, creative business through your communication. How do you write? Um, what are you doing on social media? What are you doing about getting out and speaking about your work? Um, lay out, you know, how do you manage that? And take some action today to get the big picture, lay out the plan, and manage the resources for communicating with your tribe. Ah, today to be the king, I guess. Here's the gift of the king of cups. Now, I already said cups is the element of water, heart, feelings, dreams, emotions, and intuition, and your creativity from the heart. And again, the king is the CEO, so the gift is that even while you're being a little more mind-centered today and taking mind-centered action on your creative work and laying out the plan for communication, you also get to be the um, king of your uh, creative work from that aspect of the desire. Look for that moment when you can either kind of switch hats or crowns, so to speak, or is there a CEO of creativity in your environment who'd like to support you and um, partner with you? So as we look at the big picture for today, um, this is really an opportunity to get the big picture and to start creating and managing your creative work. Also while focusing on how you create that sense of comfort and peace when you do your work, when you do your creative work, and how you allow yourself to refill your creative well so that then you can lay out the communication plan for your work and then move from that place of the creative vision. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com wishing you divine musings.